told that you look like Daniel Ricciardo. So you just saw Christian Horner rate his looks out of 10. Ferrari! Forza Ferrari! Forza Ferrari! Forza Ferrari! I mean, your least favourite. F1 driver. Oh, I'm snapping. <laughs> Get away from the Wavs for the weekend or you can't complain. <laughs> what? Nico Hulkenberg fan. Don't see many of those. Relationship on the line with it being Red Bull Mercedes. <laughs> so although I follow Red Bull, I don't really like Max's attitude. What? Hi and welcome along to AFTV Transfer Daily, the show that keeps you up to date with players that have been linked with a summer transfer move to Arsenal. Um, it's the Silverstone F1 Grand Prix today, if you're into that. Um, so if you want to check me out, I'm going to be uh, there doing some um, speaking to fans for the uh, F1 channel on track GP. If you want to go and check that out, please do. Um, should be a lot of fun today. Uh, first of all, before we get into the transfers, got to say big congratulations going out to one of our own, Emil Smith Rowe. Um, the England under 21s won the uh, Euros yesterday, and um, Smith Rowe started the game, and it was so great to see him there celebrating with a trophy. Had a great tournament as well, two goals and an assist in the tournament, and um tasted a victory as well in the final. So only bodes well for him going forward. And listen, it's one of our players that we've got at the moment. We uh, this show, we're talking about transfers and players we need to bring in. And we've got a gem right here. Remember, he spent like a whole season nearly injured and he's been recovering. And hopefully this season, we're going to see the best of him because Mikel Arteta has already said he's got no intentions of selling him and that he sees him as an integral part of the team. So well done to Emil Smith-Rowe. Arsenal also played uh, behind the uh, closed doors uh, friendly yesterday against Watford. Um, if you know the proximity of the training grounds, uh, literally, Arsenal's training ground is next door to Watford's. As a matter of fact, Watford's training ground used to be Arsenal's training ground back in the day um, until Arsenal moved to this new one. Um, at London Coney. Um, so they played a friendly yesterday. It was 1-1. Uh, Marquinhos scored the goal. He was out on loan at Norwich uh, last season, the Brazilian. He was the one who scored the goal. But quite a few first-teamers figured in the game. Ben White played, Rob Holden, uh, Gabriel Trossard, uh, Gabriel Jesus, Reese Nelson. They all played in the game. So good to see them all starting and all playing. And uh, we started mm. to get nearer and nearer to the start of the season. Um, of course, there's another pre-season friendly over in Nuremberg in Germany. They start their pre-season camp, Arsenal. Um, they're all going to be flying out there, I think, on Tuesday for that. So um, preparations really, really beginning. Now, will Declan Rice and Yuri and Timber be on that plane? They've both completed their medicals and we're just awaiting the announcements. Is it me or do Arsenal announcements take forever? <laughs> I'll tell you, man, it just seems that way. Maybe uh, maybe it doesn't. Maybe it's a similar at most clubs. But, um, yeah, we're finally going to see Declan Rice and Uriah Timber unveiled in Arsenal shirts. Um, announcements could come tomorrow. So look out for that. Tomorrow and Tuesday, I reckon they want to get these announcements done before they fly out to Nuremberg. So um, looking forward to see what those announcements are going to be like. Look out for our ones as well, right? So um, Declan Rice and Urian Timber joining um, Arsenal. So uh, fantastic news in the transfer market. Who's next is the, the question I always say straight after saying that. Um, Arsenal seem to be turning their attentions back to Ivan Fresneda. Now, Fresneda was linked heavily and I'm very, very heavily to Arsenal in the January transfer window. Of course, he's the right back who plays for um, Rio Valladolid over there in Spain. Um, but in the end, Arsenal didn't move for him. Now, he's got this uh, release clause of £17 million in his contract. So it won't be pricey. It won't be expensive. But he is still very young. He's still only 18 years of age. A real hot prospect. Most of the top teams in Europe have been chasing him, including um, Barcelona and, and a host of other clubs. Newcastle over here in, in the UK have been heavily in for him. But uh, Mondo uh, Deportivo are claiming that Arsenal are now the favourites to sign um, Ivan Fresnida. Um, as I said, available for £17 million and they are the favourites to sign him. He, he recently, in an interview, said that he's in no hurry to leave the club, 
you know, he gave all the usual, you know, let's see what happens at the moment. I'm a Valladolid player and let's see. But um, it does look like he's going to be on his move. Uh, AC Milan, the event is also interested. So, but it looks like Arsenal reigniting their interest in him. And you never know, he could be one of those next players that Arsenal go for. As I said, they're on the lookout at the moment now for top talent. Another top talent that um, Arsenal have been tipped to uh, make a move for is Gabri Vega. Now, Vega's been linked with Arsenal before. Um, Celta Vigo player um, also has a release clause. His release clause, again, not unsurmountable. It's for £34 million. Um, he's 21, so a good age. Scored 11 goals and four assists um, last season. Saw him playing yesterday. I watched the... Uh, the under-21 game um, against Spain, England versus Spain. And he looked good. He did look good. Really good on the ball. Really comfortable on the ball. Now, there's reports saying that Arsenal are now moving, eyeing up a move for Vega um, in this window with the possibility of him replacing Granit Xhaka. He does sort of play a bit further forward. Um, he sort of plays more in that sort of role what you'd see Odegaard playing. Um, but there's been a lot of talk that he could possibly sort of play, take up a more sort of deep line role um, in which he'd be more effective in. Now, as I said, he's got a £34 million release clause. There are a lot of clubs looking at him. Manchester City are said to be taking a long, hard look at him. They haven't actually made a bid yet, but they're looking at him. Liverpool have been interested in him. Chelsea, they're interested in everybody, aren't they, as usual. Um but where is he going to end up? And as I said, Arsenal being tipped as one of those teams that um, will make a possible bid for him as well. So let's see how that one develops. I don't know. I've, I keep seeing these rumours. But what happens with Fabio Vieira? I mean, he was the guy who was brought in to be more or less the same sort of uh, player. Um, didn't have a great season last year. Was sort of... In and out, but then he didn't have a preseason, did he? He didn't really have a preseason last year. I mean, this is a big season for um, Fabio Vieira. Is he going to go out on loan? I doubt it. I think Mikel Arteta is going to want to try and give him a go this season and see if he can work. And if if we, you know, we paid similar sort of money for Fabio Vieira, I'd be very surprised if Arsenal, especially with all the interest from all these other clubs, if Arsenal moved in for Vega. But again. Um, being linked with uh, Gabby Vega um, today. And Romeo Lavia. Now, this one is ru starting to rumble on. It's starting to be one of those that rumble on. The talk was all about Arsenal getting the Declan Rice thing done, getting the Timber thing done, and then next thing, Lavia. Lavia was the next target. Then you started to hear things like, well, it depends on if, you know, um, Partey goes. Although before that I was here and it didn't even matter. They were going to go for Lavia. But other clubs have come into it now. Liverpool have come into it. Chelsea have come into it. Um, Barcelona were even looking at it. They've come out. They've, they've pulled out of it now. They're like, we're not paying that. This is the problem. The £50 million asking price that Southampton are asking for, for a player that they paid £40 million for one year ago. He's had a good season. Can't describe it as great because, you know, if it was great, maybe Southampton wouldn't have been relegated. I know it's not a one-man team, but he had a good season. Is he worth 50 million? Um, at the moment, you can see all the clubs that are in for him are saying no. Liverpool are saying, no, we're not paying 50 million. Arsenal are saying, no, we're not paying 50 million. The, the, the talk at first was around about the 30 million mark, 30, 35 million which would have meant Southampton would have doubled their money, but they're trying to hold out for 50. Now, this is going to be one of those that is going to rumble on throughout the transfer window. And I think for all the clubs sort of involved, especially Arsenal and Liverpool, I don't think either of them are going to go jumping in now until that price starts to come down. So I don't think we're going to see a quick solution to this Lavio one. I think this is going to be one of those where Arsenal are going to be sitting and waiting to pounce. Um, so, so will Liverpool be. And it, it is going to be a higher price than the original 35 million that we were being um, talked about because, you know, um, there's more than one club in for him. But going to be interested to see who ends up with Romeo Lavia. A lot of these players now in the sort of defensive midfield position, it's become a premium. You know what I mean? Caicedo, they want 85, 90 million. 
you know, even Chelsea are saying they're not going to pay that right now. It's, so I think some of these prices are going to have to come down. Some of these transfers are going to be project, um, protracted ones that go throughout the window, and we're going to have to wait and see where they end up. So, But Lavia, as usual, still being linked with Arsenal today. So those are the rumours. Um, don't forget, as I said at the start of the show, I'm off to the uh, Grand Prix at Silverstone. Check out On Track GP, um, a brand new channel. Um, I'm going to be over there. I like my F1 as well. Um, so lucky enough to be at the race. Um, never know. Might see a few footballers there. Um, but um, yeah, lucky enough to be at the race. So make sure you check that out on On Track GP. But I'll be back tomorrow with more transfer rumours. Shop for AFTV merch at shop.aftv.co.uk. Subscribe to us on YouTube. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, Snapchat, and Twitch. We've got content for every platform, so check it out.